Hi, are you planning to fly with your toddler soon? It can be really intimidating to picture yourself rummaging through a bag and juggling babies and luggage while you're moving through a busy airport. So in this video, we're gonna share with you five of the things we bring along our flights to entertain toddlers. We've been traveling with our kids nonstop for nearly 20 months now, and we've taken dozens of flights with them all over the world. So hopefully these tips, and there are way more than five, will help ease your fears and give you something to look forward to to do with your toddler on the plane. So here we go. So number one on my list is Indestructibles books. So these little doozies are genius because they're lightweight, so they're easy to travel with, and kids love them because they're super colorful. As you can see here, they have lovely, colorful, engaging pages. And according to the actual publisher, they are chew-proof and rip-proof, <laughs> which is exceptional. And there's tons of titles that you can choose from. Um, I love these so much and so do our kids and I even gift them to new moms because they're a must have for any diaper bag. Number two is tactile activities. Just something new for them to get their hands on and play with and something to distract your kiddo while you're in a confined space on the plane. So I like to pick up some of these things like at a Dollar Tree or a Dollar Store or even um, the discount bins at like a Target or somewhere. So the first thing I have is a little bucket of um, pipe cleaners and beads. So depending on the age of your toddler, you wanna be careful with small parts like beads. But if you just bring a few little pipe cleaners and some of these um, little pony beads, then they can string to their heart's content and fiddle with them and make patterns and you can even make gifts for your family that you might be going to visit. Um, the second thing for a dollar is I picked up a little eight pack of these dinosaurs and so they're just fun little toys to have on hand and if you lose one it's not that big of a deal. A dollar for eight. Also one of our favorite items in sort of this category of manipulative things are these tegu blocks. So they're magnetic, colorful blocks, and they come in sets of all sizes, but this little pocket pouch, they come in like six to eight pieces in the pocket pouch. And they're colorful, and like I said, they're magnetized, so that helps prevent them from sliding off your tray table too soon. But you just stick them together, and you can make all sorts of towers and shapes and things. Um, and our whole family enjoys these, no matter what the age. So this is a good investment as well. And my last activity idea for this category would be to get yourself a pill box organizer, like with the seven little compartments with the pop tops and stuff them with the little arts and crafts um, puffs, like pom-poms. We did this for my daughter when she was two and I, I took several flights with her and it entertained her for 20 to 30 minutes at a time, which is like forever in toddler time. So definitely worth $2 to invest in a little pill box with some puffs and she can organize them and color coordinate them and play with them. Just be mindful again about small parts if your toddler still likes to pop things in their mouth. Tip number three is to find a lightweight reusable activity board for your child. So I'll give you some examples. This peel and stick, the Very Hungry Caterpillar book was given to us by a family member in England. And it basically is a big glossy board setting and it has these really thick reusable durable stickers. And you can peel and stick these hundreds of times and make up stories and play along and make up scenes and they kind of last forever. Um, another option would be like a scribble pad. So this one comes with detachable little scribble instruments and you can color on it and then you can erase it easily. And again, it's lightweight and um, self-contained. Another option that we love are these water wow books that are reusable. You just fill the pen with a little bit of water, which you probably will have on hand and you can um, write or the kids can write on these scenes with the water revealing images. And when they dry, you can reuse them. Tip number four is to find a few things that stick. And what I mean by that is something that is sticky but not messy. So for example, we, a lot of times when we fly, have a small roll of blue painter's tape with us because believe it or not, this is a really fun activity to play in your airline seat row. So you can tape closed your tray table, you can tape closed the window visor, you can tape these little dinosaurs that I mentioned earlier to the tray table and the, your toddler can just take their time picking away and peeling um, things off of places. So painter's tape is a really great um, handy tool and you can use it when you get to your destination to cover plug sockets or even tape up um, 
blind cords. Another option in this category is uh, wiki sticks, which have been around forever. They're just these wax coated um, little, they look like pipe cleaners, but they're coated in wax instead of fuzz. And you can mold them into tons of different shapes and make scenes and make up stories. And they're really fun to have on hand. And again, lightweight and small. And lastly, of course, is to pick up a brand new sheet or small book of stickers because toddlers love to peel and stick. It's fun to stick new things onto mom and dad and the tray table. They're lightweight, they're flat and um, relatively inexpensive. And tip number five for entertaining your toddler on a plane is to pack plenty of snacks and a wide variety of snacks. So you can't really hold back in this category. You're only limited by the size of your bag and how much you're willing to carry. But I would estimate how much your toddler would normally eat in the time frame of a flight and the waiting to get on your flight and then double it if you can. And don't forget to pack snacks for yourself because you're going to be hungry too. And snack time can be an activity as well. And think about fun ways to make it interactive. So you could pack a Ziploc bag full of O-shaped cereal and some string and encourage your toddler to string the cereal on the string and make a necklace or a bracelet that they can munch on as they go. So think about ways to draw it out and make snack time an actual activity. I really hope this list gives you some fun ideas of things to do with your little ones on your next flight or road trip. Let us know what works for you in the comments below, and I will leave links to the items I discussed in this video in the description below. For weekly videos with travel tips and beautiful destinations, please subscribe to our channel. Kudos for getting out in the world with your little ones. You got this.